What's happening everybody? This is Tom Maslowski. Today's lesson is going to be focusing on just using your right hand. I had a student recently that could not start their lessons because they had broken their wrist on their fretboard hand the day their brand new amp arrived on their front porch. So I thought for their sake and for yours that I would go through just a few things that you could do to keep yourself busy and to start playing even if you have some, some setbacks. Today, is we're just gonna focus on the open strings and doing some rhythmic ideas, just some basic things. Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. We're gonna do one measure per string. You should set your metronome. I like to start off at 80, not too fast, not too slow. You can start it wherever you're comfortable. I would just progress slowly. I go by 20s, 80, 100, etc. Up to 200 is where I stop. Um, you can go as fast as you want to. I know you speed demons out there get crazy, but I mean, if you get past these exercises, you might want to try some more challenging stuff. Starting with 80, we're going to do whole notes. We're going to do one measure per string from E to G, and then back again from G to E. All right, whole notes at 80. One, two, three, four. All right, and then for an exercise like this, feel comfortable enough to let the notes ring out. It's not going to sound good. We're just trying to get your fingers moving and get some rhythmic awareness. Half notes, two notes, I'm sorry, two beats per measure. We're gonna do two of them per string. All right, one, two, three, four. The next idea would be quarter notes. This is gonna be one strum per beat. Now we're gonna have four of these per string. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes are considered to be half beats. You're basically playing once on the click and then once in between the clicks and you could count them by saying one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And then of course you can mix and match things. So one, two, three, four. Those kinds of things. You can mix and match all day, make up your own combinations, go back and forth between different strings, you can do the strings out of order. If you have any questions or you're interested in some online lessons, or if you happen to live in Illinois in the Joliet area and you'd like some in-person lessons, please message me here or go to my website, zestysoul.com and drop a line there. 
Thank you.